Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here today with a tutorial helping you knit the linen stitch. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Linen stitch is great fun. It gives you a really dense flat piece of fabric when you finish knitting and it can be used in all sorts of ways and there are some patterns out there for scarves, for jumpers, maybe home items like cushion covers and placemats and it gives a really interesting effect. It actually looks like weaving when you've finished your knitting. So um, let's get straight to the demo. We're going to look at linen stitch and I'll also show you what half linen stitch looks like as well which I really like too. Let's get into the tutorial for linen stitch. Linen stitch really is a lovely stitch to learn. It gives a really flat woven surface and what it does also is actually gives a really thick knit to it. So what we're going to do is get started on here. This is um, a worsted Aran weight yarn and it, it, it looks really intricate so I've upgraded the um, yarn here to show you this is a chunky yarn with a six and a half millimeter needles so what i'm going to do is get started with the very simple pattern so we're starting on a on a right side row you can see the pattern there and that is the wrong side row you've got the lumps on it there that looks like a moss stitch otherwise known as seed stitch so here we go we are going to knit the first stitch and then the yarn comes to the front and then we slip the next stitch. Slipping a stitch looks like this. You very simply move the stitch from the left hand needle to the right hand needle with the needle sitting parallel. And that's it. You don't knit it, you don't purl it, you just um, slip it from one needle to the next. The yarn is still in the front, but it goes back to the back of the needle and you knit the next stitch. Don't pull that stitch too tight, otherwise you'll pull that yarn there tight and you'll push the stitches together. So the yarn goes to the front again, you slip the next stitch, yarn goes to the back and you knit the next stitch. Yarn to the front, slip the stitch, back and knit the next stitch. Yarn to the front, slip the stitch, yarn to the back and knit. I'm going to do the rest of this row and then I'll see you for the purl side row or the wrong side row. There we are. So that's the right side row and we can see, not very easily, but you can see just very slightly the knit stitches with a slip in between, the knit stitch and the slip, the knit stitch and the slip. Very crucially, the yarn was at the front of the needle whenever we slipped a stitch there. So here we're going to do purling. Now, just so that there's um, a sturdy stitch on the ends of the rows, we have a knit stitch on the ends of the rows, whether you're on the purl side or the knit side. So we're going to do a knit stitch at the end of the row. Now we purl the first stitch, move the yarn to the back and slip the next stitch, move the yarn to the front and purl. So it's the opposite of what we did before. Yarn to the back, slip, yarn to the front and purl. Yarn to the back, slip, yarn to the front and purl. Yarn to the back, slip, yarn to the front and purl. And this gives the effect of all the slips being seen at the front. The yarn is at the front of all of these slip stitches. We see all of those slips on the right side and you can see that there. There's the slip and there's the slip. There's the slip and there's the slip. And that is a woven pattern that you can see there on the right side of the fabric. So, and because you're slipping stitches on every single row, the rows kind of squash together. So, it is a tighter knit. Um, it doesn't happen quite so much with the stitches, but definitely with the rows. They kind of squash together and it gives that real tight effect and the real dense effect of the fabric too. This would be a really nice scarf um, if you want something nice and warm to wear in the winter. You want a really um, cosy fabric 
a linen stitch will certainly give you a cosy fabric for sure. And at the end there's a purl stitch and then the knit stitch just to secure the end of the row. Okay, so on this side it's, it's just as dense and it looks like a moth stitch on the back. It's a really nice flat piece of fabric when you finish. So there it is. So this is the pink one I showed you earlier with the thinner yarn. And what I love about this, it's still as flat. There's nothing moving in that. Um, this is a bit dirty. <laughs> <laughs> been using it as a coaster that's why I knitted it it's a cotton fabric so it's it's heavy anyway and what I did here was I did what I would probably call half linen stitch and that is slipping on one row and then having a purl row next then slipping on the next row but alternating um, whether the slip stitch is on the first stitch or the second stitch. So the knit rows I'm slipping with the yarn to the front of the work and the next row I'm purling. You can very simply see those purl rows just in between all of the knit one, slip one. There you go, that's the purl row in between them. So you do see more stitches on that side, but it just is slightly flatter and it doesn't quite pull the um, rows together quite so densely so that's an option if you don't want to do quite such a dense linen stitch but there you go that is your linen stitch with a few options there for you so that's the thinner um that's the thinner yarn that's the thicker yarn and that's a bit of a half linen stitch isn't that a lovely effect the linen stitch really is a lovely dense piece of fabric and I love half linen stitch as well. We've been using those coasters for a good few months now and uh, they're really easy to wash and um, I loved knitting that in the cotton. I was uh, demonstrating the, for you there in wool. Do go and check out the pattern playlist which has got lots of tutorials all about the different patterns you can create over a large piece of knitting. So we've got butterfly stitch in there, moss stitch, seed stitch, double moss stitch, that kind of thing. And do let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to add to that. Are there any stitch patterns that you really like or you're just curious about how you knit it? I can figure it out and uh, create a tutorial for you there as well. Okay, thanks so much for joining me today. I will see you again soon. Do subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. If you click on the bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I release a new video. I'm here with a new video every Tuesday, every week. And I do hope I'll see you next week for a new video. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye for now. Happy knitting.